This is the first time I've actually, I think, combed my hair in like a week and a half. Usually I'm just wearing a cap nowadays. You've been hanging in, uh, you've been hanging in okay with the quarantine? Yeah, I've gotten to spend a ton of time with my kids. Um, I have teenagers, so it's not as often anymore. You know, when they're yeah. little, they always want to hang out with you. But when you're just not cool anymore after they like tip 13 and they don't want you to be around, but they really want to hang out. We've played more Monopoly and Phase 10 and um, Four Square in the front yard. Ridden yeah. by- it's been really, really, really cool. I'm going to miss it. And we're going to have to make some adjustments when we go back to reality. I, I completely agree. You know, it's the same thing. I have a, a, four, a 14 and a and a 16 and a lot of the same things. I mean, they, they, because they don't have any other options. It's not like they're going out and hanging out with their friends right now. So they're like, hey, mom and dad actually are a pretty good option. And they're, and they're <laughs> kind of fun to hang out with. So we do, we're, doing, we're doing some of the same things. We're playing... We're playing spades, uh, hearts, gin rummy. I mean, we like every night we all get around the the um, living room tables and all that kind of stuff, and we just sit there and we play uh, our game tables. We we play we play cards, and it's it's really fun. It's a lot. It's been nice. No, it's been so nice, and I've been so curious. I mean, I've reached out to a lot of my clients and friends and colleagues, and just how is everybody hanging in there? What are you doing? Um, my husband and I used to have date night every Wednesday. So we've like put this collective list together of different people who have said we've done this for date night or done this for family night. I think we're in like the different phases of quarantine. Like we had the freak out phase, um, kind of went to the, this is so much fun phase to the, oh my gosh, I've got to get out of this house phase. Um, (laughs) now I feel like I'm making it into our new normal. I cannot wait to go out to eat and to hug all my waiters. I'm going to hug everybody. So I'm going to set up a booth that just says free hugs. Please just come shake my hand or something. <laughs> yes. You're one of those that's definitely going to take in the hugs. You're not going to, you're not going to hold people back. You're, you're going all in with the hugs. I hold you back, which, which that's all right. No, <laughs> you watching, watching any new movies, picking up anything new? Uh, no, actually I, we've not really, I think the same you and I had talked about that before. I've yeah. not really turned on the TV. There's, I, I did watch Ozark. Um, season three did come out of Ozark. So I did watch Ozark. But no, I'm oddly enough, I've not had any time to watch TV. Yeah. Um, I've yeah. planted flowers and painted my house and stuff that I probably oh. done years ago. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I, I uh, my, my movie watching is, is regulated usually till about midnight to two or 11 to one. It just depends on uh, what's kind of going on and mm-hmm. what I'm doing with Jen and stuff like that. And, you know, I, I watch some of the same old movies. I could watch, I could watch a movie literally 10 times and be okay with it. I mean, and I don't need anything. I don't need any Academy award movie. I mean, give me, you know, give me something pretty simple like um, John wick um, oh, baby. Good. <laughs> baby driver night. I mean, just give me, give me something legally blonde. I don't care. I mean, you know, he said it. Take- I heard it. He watches, he watched legally blonde. <laughs> I, I do. I do. I love it. It's just something to get my mind off everything else that I'm dealing with. So it's just nice to check out. I use movies really just to honestly check out. Um, I do wonder when we go back, what everybody wants to do. I would love to hear what's the first thing. And I know that I've seen a lot of that on Facebook, but are you going to go out to eat? Is that what it's been? Um, I've, I do feel, you know, will you stop going to the park? I've, I've never met, I've lived in my house for 12 years on and off. I mean, we lived in Dominican Republic and rented it, but I've never met half the neighbors that I've met just running. I mean, yes, six feet apart, but there's so many <laughs> and running and um, that part, I never want to go away, but I'm curious yeah. as to what people will do as soon as this goes back, you know, are, are they going to, Flood the restaurants. Are they going to flood the mall? You know, what what have people missed the most? Yeah, I think that I think there's gonna be um a little bit of that. I I, I do think, I mean, you know, Jim, my wife and I've talked a lot about that. I mean, you know, we we will we will go and support all of the restaurants that we've we continue to support now, ordering out. We'll go back and we'll eat there. 
Um, I don't think a lot of that for us is, is going to change. Um, I do think the things that will change um, is we've, we've enjoyed like family walks every day. Mm-hmm. I mean, like that's been like one of the best things ever is for all four of us and our, our dog, our boxer to, to go on a walk. And, you know, I know we can't do that every single day, um, you know, moving forward, but, you know, we're going to make it something that we really work hard to do because it's just, it's a space with no phones and we just get to talk. Right. And, and just like you're saying about meeting your neighbors and, uh, you know, when they're fishing, it's the same thing. I mean, it, it is so awesome to to just be together and do those things. So I think that'll come from it. I think that'll, that'll be a lot of good stuff. I think the, 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 um, how we buy trade uh, goods and services online and how we get things uh, brought to our houses. I think that's going to continue to evolve and grow and become a, a bigger part of, of our, our marketplace and society. Uh, we go, we'll go less and less to those, those types of uh, stores, uh, the grocery stores, the, the malls. I mean, I know a lot of people already shop online, but I think that's going to become even bigger. Um, even like, you know, I need something, you know, I need my bottle of tequila. Okay. I'm going to press a button and somebody's going to go get it and bring it back to me. I mean, we did that, but we're going to do it more frequently, you know, moving forward. <laughs> I think I'm going to end up going more out. I'm not going to push the button anymore. I've decided that we're going to leave all of the games on the end table. I want to look at them every day. It took, well, one, it took us about 45 minutes to dig them out of the back of the closet. So <laughs> back is not something I'm excited, but I want to keep that. But I think I'll go to the store. I don't know that I will order as many things online. I, I want to have that exchange with people. And I, I'm, I mean, people are very kind, but I hope that we come out of this and people are nicer to each other and, you know, yeah. enjoy that personal interaction that, that maybe we started to be more straight on our devices every day and in our, you know, AirPods. And I, I just, I hope that we, we appreciate each other more. Yeah. I think we've, I think I've seen it at least um, a lot. At least the, the time that I do spend on social media, I haven't been really seeing a big divide in communication, mm-hmm. um, which has been very nice. Um, and it's been, it's been very refreshing to see people, you know, really just focusing on the the common good and the common goal uh, for all of us to be healthy. We're going to be living with this, you know, we're, we'll be living with this. I mean, it's no different than the flu or, you know, other types of uh, um, things that we have to deal with to, to avoid. Um, right. It's just going to be part of our life. And we're going to, I think some of those th- types of things will change in, in how we handle cleanliness and, you know, what we... Um, in our homes or what we're thinking about when we're going out uh, outdoors, uh, how do we keep things a bit cleaner? Um, I mean, I, th- I think that little things like that will change, but that's, that's good. I it mean, maybe, good. It'll, maybe it'll help some things with our environment as well. We'll think a little bit differently about that. What happens if you know, once a week we, we, we did a, a self-imposed quarantine, not once a week, once a month for, for, you know, three days, four days, could that change some things uh, for our, for our environment? I don't know, but. I see a lot of things out there right now that's looking pretty positive with with the less people that are out there on the roads. I completely agree. I definitely agree. I also, I never realized how often I touch my face. So <laughs> more often I'm going to touch my face less, um, but I definitely touch my face and having a 13 year old and a 16 year old, I'm like, stop, stop touching everything. You touch everything. I think my kids just like run their hands down every table. We go, I'm like, you got it. So now when we go to the grocery store, you got to put your hands in your pocket. So it's, it's, it is very interesting, but I'm excited. I'm excited about the way that people are, are going to drive differently. I think people will walk more. I think that I, 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 hope, I think we're going to come out of this better. If you need anything, give Jenny a, a, a holler. Um, we'll make sure that all of her digits and emails and all that stuff get posted on the, uh, on the thread on this. Oh, look at that. Call Jenny. I just saw it pop up. So that's the key right there. Call Jenny. Thank you. <laughs> Brent, Brennan's smart. He's back there doing some producing as we're talking. I love it. He's Good got job, my back. Brandon. He's got your back. All right, guys. We, look, we appreciate you. We appreciate you hanging in there for the Bob Mortgage Live show uh, with Jenny Rudolph, Keller Williams. If there's any questions you guys have, please um, just put them in the comments. Jenny and I will watch the comments and be happy to answer anything that you guys have. Other than that, Peace out, be safe, take care, and make it an amazing uh, weekend. All right, take care. Bye, Bye, y'all.